Hi everyone, welcome to Git Python Code. Today I will discuss week 9 quiz answer for joy of computing using Python. So here in question number 1, how we can identify which book is written by which author. So the correct answer is by analyzing what link distribution with previous book. As you can see from previous year weekly quiz. So mark option B as an answer for question number 1. Going to question number 2. What is the key difference between list and tuples in Python? So the key difference is list are mutable means they can be modified and tuples are immutable means they cannot be modified. And this condition only matches with option B. So mark option B as an answer for question number two. Going to question number three, what will the following piece of code always return true? So this is false as you can see as you run this, for 10 times you will get true but if you run this for at least 10,000 times you will definitely get at least one false okay and you can also cross check with the previous year weekly quiz correct answer is false as it is not always giving true so that is why it will be false so mark false as an answer for question number three and before I go to the next question I want to make something clear so all answers shown here are correct according to me but then also if there is any change in answer, I will definitely inform you in my telegram channel or in this YouTube channel community tab or in this video description. So please make sure to see the final answer on the last submission date. Going to question number four, what will be the output of this code? So you can see I have copied this code and the output of this code is this, this figure. Okay. So mark option D as an answer for question number four. Going to question number five, what is the total degree of given graph? So let me show you how we can calculate degree. So if you, if you just notice this dot one, so one is connected to two and it is also connected to four. So degree of one is two. And similarly, two is connected to one and two is connected to three. So degree of two is two as it is connected to two dots. Similarly, for 3 is connected to 4 and 2. So this is 3, it is connected to 4 and 2. So degree of 3 is also 2 and same for 2. So total degree you can see we have 8. So mark 8 as an answer for question number 5. Going to question number 6, which of the following is always true for a connected undirected graph with at least one edge? So this is an example of connected undirected graph taken from gigs of gigs. Okay. So the correct answer is sum of all nodes degree is given. As you can see, each node will be connected to other node. As you can see, one is connected to two or one at one is connected to zero. Means if you notice any node, it is connected to at least one another node. Zero is connected to one node, two is connected to one. No node is left alone. So it will always as each node is always connected to other nodes, so degree will always be even. And what is this degree? Degree means these lines, these connected lines. So the sum of this line will always be even. Okay. So mark option B as an answer for question number six. For question number seven, the answer is, as you can see from this screenshot, single and double quotes are used for single line string and triple quotes are used for multi line string and it is matching fit with option number A. So mark A as an answer for question number seven. Going to question number eight, how many nodes and edges, uh, edges does the following graph have? So we have just one example, similar question appeared in previous semester weekly quiz. So we have to find nodes, node and edges for this figure. So nodes means these dots and edges means an interconnecting line in between them. Okay. So in this case, if you if you try to count the number of nodes and edges, so we will find that nodes means this dot. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have total of five dots means five nodes. And coming to edges means interconnecting lines. So so we have one interconnecting line. So we have another interconnecting line. So we have five nodes and two edges if this is the figure. Now let me calculate the same thing for this figure. So first, if, if you find nodes means dots, so we have to count total number of dots. So we have one, two, then three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we have total of 10 dots and edges means interconnecting line in between them. So we have one line. This is second line. This is third line, fourth line, fifth line, and then sixth line. So we so we have total of 10 nodes and six edges. A complete graph will have degree of suppression. So it has one degree of suppression. As you can see from previous year weekly quiz. Coming to question number 10, what will be the output of this code? So it will give a type error as you can see here. So mark option B as an answer for question number 10. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment and subscribe.